website, juliebladner.com, where I share easy recipes, effortless entertaining ideas, and home decor. Today I'm sharing one of the easiest Christmas recipes with you. It's a three ingredient Christmas candy that doesn't require a thermometer and is completely fuss free. It's foolproof, anyone can make this, even kids. So let's get started, shall we? chocolate chips and we'll melt them in the microwave in 30 second increments. This way we make sure that we're not going to burn our chocolate chips. And we'll stir in between and as we get closer we'll limit it to about 15 seconds each time. Okay it looks like our chocolate is ready to be stirred for the first time. And pull it out, give it a little stir and put it in for another 30 seconds. To check on our chocolate again. This time it's starting to melt a little bit but not coming along too far so we're going to give it another 30 seconds. As you can see it's starting to melt but not quite to the point we want it to yet. We're going to give it another 30 seconds. This process takes just a few minutes. We're really starting to get there now it's really melting. We're going to go to 15 second increments until it's really smooth. Oh, it looks like this is going to be absolutely perfect. It's really smooth. And now we're ready to incorporate our nuts. We're going to stir it in. Now with any candy, you want to work a little bit quickly as it will start to set on you. Once it's fully incorporated, we can begin the next step. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drop these by the teaspoonful onto our parchment paper so that they can be removed easily later. Now, this one sometimes you might need to use another teaspoon or give it a little hand. One of the many things I love about these peanut clusters is that they don't have to be perfect. Once someone takes a bite of them, they're going to be begging for the recipe. They are so addicting, even more so than saltine toffee or peppermint bark. I like to tell myself these are a little healthier than other Christmas candies because, you know, they're loaded with protein. And if you want to use dark chocolate to justify that they're a great antioxidant, I won't judge. We're just going to keep dropping these on to our parchment paper. of sweet and salty, you can take these up a notch by adding a little fresh cracked sea salt on the highest setting for nice thick flakes. And if you're making these for kids or want to give them a little color, you can use some sprinkles too. My girls love a little touch of red for everything during Christmas. You can see just how quick and easy these come together. Now we're just going to allow these to set and then we can package them up to gift to neighbors and friends. For more easy recipes, entertaining ideas, and home decor, click subscribe to follow along below. Also, don't forget to check out the full printable recipe, all my helpful tips and tricks, at julieglanner.com. 